Tajik Hunt, the state of Rutgers.com, here with Rutgers legend Mike Fladell, um, a top offensive lineman um, on that 2006 uh, Rutgers squad. How you doing, Mike? Doing well, thank you. How are you? Very good, sir. Good. Talk a little bit about your um, experience in Rutgers in, in, that, in that 2006 season and how you guys bonded together. 2006 season was, uh, I mean, words can't even describe what, what that team was like. We were just we were one group working towards one mission and one goal. And uh, we all came together that year, and it was, uh, it was a pretty magical year for us. Some something I uh, I'll never forget. Nice. I know out of uh, all the guys along that line, most of them got um, an opportunity at the NFL, um, and I know you uh, as well, Mike, had an opportunity with the New York Giants. Talk a little bit about that experience. I mean, it was great. It was really wonderful um, playing it, playing alongside those guys. You know, uh, starting left to right, we had Pedro Sosa, myself, Darnell Stapleton. Cam Stevenson and then Jeremy Zuta. Um, Zuta right now is uh, currently with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and we had uh, Darnell Stapleton won a Super Bowl ring with the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. Cam uh, bounced around all over the place. He, he played a while in the league. And Pedro was with the Dolphins. Uh, myself uh, with, with the Giants, and just to be around those guys, uh, co coming as one that year, um, becoming one of the best, if not the best, O line in the country. Zero sacks given up. Um, we really, uh, we really grew as one unit. We were very close, and we're still close to this day. And uh, you know, an interesting fact is every uh, start, every starting offensive player on the 016 has been in the NFL at one point. So again, that was a real magical year. Nice, nice. Now, you guys, super successful offensive line, like you said, one of the top in the country. What's it going to take for the Rutgers offensive line as it, as it is now to get back to something similar to that? I think really, I mean, they have great leadership and they have great coaching. Coach Yano, Coach Flood, and, and the entire staff. What they really have to do is believe in themselves and believe and, uh, and trust in their staff, um, in the staff, and really just work to – to be one unit, to bond as one. And I think they're going to do a good job. I really do. I was at the spring game, and I saw a lot of great things out of them. Nice. And, Mike, I know uh, Coach Flood is, is highly regarded as an offensive line coach. Talk a little bit about what it is that makes him so special. He, he's, a, he's really a, a great coach uh, for many different reasons. One reason is that he, he's played the position. He knows what we're going through. Uh, he's incredibly intelligent. He knows the game inside and out. And he, and the, the best part about Coach Flood is he just doesn't tell you to do things just to do it. He'll actually take the time and explain why we're doing it this way, okay? And you know he he's there for us. He really is, and he really wants to make us a better player. Nice. And talk a little bit about some of the values that you were able to pick up as a Rutgers Scarlet Knight. Um, you know, being being a Rutgers Scarlet Knight, it, just learning learning everything here under Coach Chiano and his staff really. It really does relate to the real world, and um, just you know, talking about the chop. Okay, the chop is, is focus and just keeping your eye, keeping your eye, um, and, and and just keeping your eye on, on on one one thing and just and just chop your way through it. Do your best uh, every single day. Okay, uh, the definition of success is the peace of mind you gain at the end of the day, knowing that you did the very best you could, no matter the situation. Okay, that's something. I, I took from from Rutgers here being a Scarlet Knight under Coach Chiano, and uh, I, I related to everyday life. Nice, and I know Rutgers just had their spring game last weekend. I'm not sure if you got to take a glimpse at that or not, but just talk a little bit about your feelings about the upcoming season and how you ex uh, expect the guy to, the guys to fare. I, I really expect them to come out come out flying, and uh, I have high hopes for them. Um, like I said before, I saw a lot of good things during that spring game, and I'm really, really excited to see them come out this year, and, uh, and I think they'll do very well. Nice. You have any picks for any breakout performers? Any breakout performers? We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We've got a lot of talent on this team. Well, there you have it. Mike Fladell, this is SOR, signing off.